Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan from Athens Christian Reformed Church with some devotions for us today. And uh, today is the 13th day of Easter. And so I would invite you, if you have a moment, to just uh, stop whatever you're doing and just uh, just relax and take a deep breath and uh, hear what God's Word has for us today. Our invitation comes from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57, as it has all this week. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Bible song this morning comes from Psalm 77, verses 1 to 2 and 7 to 14. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in his anger withheld his compassion? Then I thought, to this I will appeal. The years when the Most High stretched out his right hand, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. And our Bible reading this morning comes from 1 John 1, verse 1 to 4. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testify to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. One of the things I love about the Psalms is how the psalmist writes through all kinds of struggles and good times and, and, and he's so honest with us and with God. Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? I don't know where you are at today. Maybe you are feeling like the psalmist. But regardless of where we are at, let us remember what God has done in the past. His great and glorious miracles, his works, his creation, his love. Let's pray. Living God, I don't want a second-hand faith. I need something more to bring your reality home to me. Send your Spirit to testify in my heart that what I read in Scripture is from you. Open my eyes to see that the words of Scripture vibrate with your love and truth and address these words to my heart, Lord. Amen.
Receive God's blessing for today. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Be blessed today, and we'll see you uh, next week.